this is one of the things I love about this RV resort. The horns don't work. They're taking them out because people, people are abusing the horns and beeping them all the time and especially at night and it's disturbing people. So they're taking out the best part of the golf cart, the horns. <laughs> that was but, but <laughs> there goes it? my fun. We, we want to thank them for coming by, yes. hanging out with us. Would this be your favorite resort? Yes. It's not mine. There's my girl. One of the things we always do is whenever we get to a site, first thing we do is we get Tucker out because he's a nervous wreck and we set him up over here on a table or a tree or something so he'll settle down because he's a nervous wreck while we, he's a nervous wreck while we try to set up. So we like to get him over there, get him to relax, and he's much better when he could just sit out there and watch us work. This used to be Carolina Pines. We, st we still call it Carolina we, st we do. We can't help yeah. ourselves. We call it. We were here when it first opened, and it was mm -hmm. still under construction, and the, only half the park maybe was open. Not even that. Yeah. It was like maybe a fourth. And it's really many, grown. It, it was years ago when we had the Wookie Wagon. If you guys don't know, we used to have a our first Class A. We nicknamed it the Wookie Wagon. Actually, Katrina did. And we fell in love with this place. And then the second time we came back, we managed to convince our daughter, son-in-law, and granddaughter to, to come over here. Yep and rent a cottage and they fall in love with it. Yeah. So now they're coming back. Just waiting for those babies, those grandbabies to get here. Yeah, and we love this campground. We just love the environment, the atmosphere. Everybody's here having a good time, having a lot of fun. We're gonna walk over and see if we can't get something for dinner. For dinner. What a fantastic place. I, and maybe did I say that? I said that, or I keep said saying that. a couple that. times. Sorry. And then maybe tonight we'll listen to some live music. That's another thing. They have live music, restaurants, uh, pools. I think that's what hooked us the first year we came. They didn't have much going on except for some sites. The, I think the pool had just opened, one of the pools, but they had live music one night. And that like and hooked us right away. Yeah. That was Everybody it. was having a great yeah, time. That was it. We're in sight. Look, I gotta walk all the way over here. It's, it's on the other end. We're in sight C33. And we actually have two fire pits. We have one on each side, look at this. We got this one here. We have one over here. Now, when we first got here, I was unsure. I didn't know what was going on. Surprise, surprise. He didn't know what was going on. But we figured it out that... We have two we can use. Right, two we can use. We won't. <laughs> we'll we may one. use them one night, we but will. we won't use we'll them. We'll use one. Yeah. All right, well, let's go walk over here and get something to eat. Okay, this actually is a very good site. I like this one or this one actually right here. I like, and I like that right, watch, you're gonna get hit. Um, I like that there's a walkway right here. And the thing is, if we had a site halfway down that way or whatever, we'd have to walk, you know, quite a distance because you cannot walk through the RV sites, of course. And that's, a, that's you know? another so thing. This is awesome. If you come here, you're gonna wanna get a golf cart. You need a golf cart or if you have your e-bikes, that's, e that's fine, yeah. But if you put, if you get a spot right here beside the main building, you really probably don't need a golf cart. I don't know about You'd that. You'd be fine. Would this be your favorite resort? Yes. It's not mine. 
This is no doubts about it. Yes. This is a great resort. It's fantastic. This would probably be my second favorite RV resort, but my first is Oasis RV Resort in Las Vegas. And anytime I can get out there and hang out there, uh, with the exception of the the middle of the summer, with you know, 110, 115 degree weather, that's where I want to be. Well, I'll, I think I'll be fantastic. here and Chris can go over there. And I'll, I got to show you that video of why it was it was hilarious. We had a great time there. This is better. It's been a while. We were there a couple times, but it's been a while since we've been there. Been there twice. That's about 10 times too little. We need to go there more we often. We need to come here more often. Yeah. We could do that. I'm all for okay, that. Let's do it. Go, so. no, I think we'll we'll sit over here for a minute. We'll sit and swing for a minute. This is one of the things I love about this RV resort. On the weekends, they have live bands. It's fantastic. Everybody's enjoying themselves, having a great time. Booking.com. Click or tap now to start. So here at the uh, the resort, they have a Bloody Mary bar that they offer on Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday mornings. Bloody Mary and Mimosa bar. Oh, Mimo I didn't know they were did mimosa. That's why the foods are they see this. Oh, there's so if you do mimosa, there is the fruit right there, and then all these toppings are for Bloody Marys. So. I'm going to, Katrina and I are going to make our own Bloody Mary. You go to the bar, they give you the vodka, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try the the homemade spicy mix. Mm, that looks pretty good, and then we're just going to add a few things. What did you, I'm going to add some crab. I'm going to put some crab in there. And a shrimp. I like to do it, get me a shrimp. We got an olive and then a I like the cheddar cheese. How about pepperoni or salami? Uh let's go with the pepperoni. We'll take that. And we'll add another olive. I think we're gonna go with that. There's put... bacon up there and all kinds of stuff, no? No, I think that's enough. That'll do it. No, don't turn that off. We're gonna go out and sit out by the pool. Cheers. Oh, wait a minute. Why? What'd you do? Hold on. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay. You're on your way to pick up the golf cart. Yes. Because we need a golf cart. Because the grandbabies are coming today. We're going to go ahead and get a golf cart. Katrina's going to go over and pick up the golf cart. We don't really need a golf cart if it's just Chris and I, but it is kind of fun to just take the golf cart out and drive around and, you know, yeah, wave we... to everybody and, hey, how's it going? And see the different sites and the different, different uh, RVs. Anything else to add about the golf cart? <laughs> no, I want to go get it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm excited to get the golf cart. You know, yeah. what does it say about us that we're staying at a campground? I'm, I'm like, excited to get a golf I'm cart. Get, I'm excited so we could drive the grandbabies around because they're going to get a kick out of it, especially Olivia. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm good with the bike. So. Yeah, and almost there. It seems like everyone here has a golf cart. It, it seems that way because they're all over the place. Which, mm -hmm. once again, it's a large facility. It's grown since mm -hmm. the first time we were here. Absolutely. It's huge. It is. And you know, it's it. But it's expensive. Let's what tell them what the golf cart runs a day. Well, for the single golf carts, which I mean, you know, the this, this seat in the front and the fold-up seat in the back is $70 a day. So I don't know what the, and those are supposed to be like four-seaters. I don't know what the six-seaters are. I don't know how much those yeah, cost. That's pretty pricey. I mean, yeah. we don't, you know, it's something that we just splurge on because this is like a family vacation. It's a splurge, but, you know, it's once a year or so. Let's get, go get that golf cart, babe. Go get it. Get and out, be careful riding that. Get out back. your credit card, Chris. Get out, not mine, yours. <laughs> All right, be careful coming back. Okay, I will. Right. I'll see you. Try not to hit run over any kids or anything like that, or any dogs or. What did you say? I'm a fantastic driver. Are you sure about fantastic. that? Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> That's why I drive. I show for Chris all around town. <laughs> You're a fantastic driver. I'm fantastic. With the exception of the RV. 
Well, if I could drive the RV, I would do better than Chris. Room for the golf cart. You made it back in one piece. It's good to see. Was there ever a question? <laughs> what happened? So when I picked it up, they go over all the instructions with you and tell you, you know, where the blinkers are, the on and off, the night light and all that kind of good stuff. But they also said that a lot of the um, golf carts now, the horns don't work. They're taking them out because people, people are abusing the horns and beeping them all the time and especially at night and it's disturbing people. So they're taking out the best part of the golf cart, the horns. <laughs> that was but, but there goes it? my fun. This one still has one. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Because we're going to be riding around doing no, the same thing. No, we are thing. not. We are not going to so, be beeping it. I'll drive and then Chris can't beep the horn. No, I'll drive. He's going to be having a cocktail. He's not driving. What? I am not. I'm just going to relax and enjoy the environment. Honk the horn for a while. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. It's good to know ours still work, though. Because it will come in handy. Someone's upset because the golf cart doesn't have a so, right size cup holder. So I like to keep this large cup filled with ice water and lemons, right? So I drink a lot of water during the day. And I go like this, look guys, I go like this to put it in the cup holder. There's four of them, does not fit. So I'll improvise. I just sit right here between the seats like that. Well, I mean, you See know what they I say. That up? Well, you know what they say. What they say, how it's they say. too big, go smaller. What, is, what does that mean? What are you referencing? No, I'm just saying. Okay. It's a joke. I'm not allowed to tell I a joke. I didn't get it then. I just didn't get it. Well, she doesn't get most of my jokes. <laughs> I think it says more about her than it does me. Ah, uh, whatever. But our family is here. There is. I got it. I haven't done this before. I got to figure out which, which, how to run this thing. Okay, I put it in reverse. I guess Chris doesn't find that funny. Chris doesn't find my sense of humor very funny. Chris can't find your sense of humor. Katrina oh, can't find oh, her okay. sense of humor. I have a good sense of humor. <laughs> I'm very funny. We are going to pick up a pleasant surprise. We certainly are. And <laughs> first baby outfit. <laughs> There's my girl. What you want to do? Hi, ah, sweetheart. Oh, Aww. I got you. Hi. It's, it's so good, good to see you. We got you now. You happy to be here? All right. Okay, we got her now? Yep. All right, she's ours. We got her now, babe. Okay. okay ready to go for a ride? Bye, guys. Say, see you later, alligators. Three years ago now, yeah, we were we were able to uh, a nice couple pulled in next to us. Yeah, they had a tip. <laughs> Like, oh my God. Like, so, oh, Katrina's over there talking to Sandy. One of the great things about full-time RV living and the whole YouTube is, prior to us having a channel, we followed um, T-Squad RV Living. And uh, big fans, I'll put a, a link in the description down below. You guys gotta check out their channel. And they just happened to be here at um, Sun Outdoors. They stopped by to pay, pay us a visit. We're gonna hang out tonight for a little while, and it's great to see him. There's Angelo. Yo, yo. Where is he? Right there, it's, doing it's, his thing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, Katrina and Sandy are in the back. And thanks for stopping by. No, thanks thank for the wine. Yes. I think we really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. No. And, and you can tell we're both YouTubers because we both have the cameras. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, yeah, so Chris was here and I was here, and we're like, just take was like, okay. They're all sleeping. And now we can all just and now we all can be like adult family and we yeah. can hang out out here. And you sell it yeah. up here if you need well, it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you're gonna have to take me through now. <laughs> <laughs> This has been nice to meet you, both of you. And wow. we watch your channel. Like I said, it's it's tough to catch up, but we we really enjoy your videos. Yes. And uh, we're we paisans. really do. We're paisans. paisans. Oh, yes. I haven't heard that in years. We're paisans. Thank you. Thank you, T-Squad. <laughs> T-Squad showing up with the glasses. <laughs> so, I, you know, I gotta wear, okay. So I have to wear my glasses when I'm recording because that could be blurry, and I can't tell you how many videos have ruined because 
I did not have these on. Look, she's over, she's over there like, talking about me. You talked about it like five times the same thing. No wonder you have to. Yeah, I talk about it a lot of times because I figure we could just edit it out. And then or I can, you know, like, adjust so it, much figure much. it out. You know, we're, we're sitting here hanging out with Sandy and Angelo from T-Squad RV. And we're having a good time. And, you know, Katrina's over here. Uh, talking bad really, about me, busting my chops, really, giving me a hard time. I'm not. I'm no, just, she's not. I'm talking the truth. Uh, we love our Italian. It's not it's only it's not only Katrina. Yes. It's Sandy as well. <laughs> That's right. She's not like, are you like done? Are you done? Uh, well, one more take. One more take. But then you get your video full, your camera full, and you're like, oh, we got to redo it. And then we're done. <laughs> we're just like done. We're like, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Make sure, you, like I said before, guys, uh, we we want to thank them for coming by, yes. hanging out with us. Make sure. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure you check out their channel. Subscribe to the channel. Show them some love and support. We've been following these guys for years. I've said it before. I'll say it again. They're real salt of the earth people. You guys are going to love them. And we thank you guys for stopping by, awesome. hanging out with us. It's a thrill for me to meet you guys. Awesome. It really is. <laughs> this is this is exciting to, it is. to hear that. It's so. all good, day. It's all right, guys. It's all right, up. take care, guys. Right here. Thank all you. Right, thank you. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. There we go. There we go. As Putty would say, high five. High five. That's one of the great things about the Sun Outdoors Resort in Myrtle Beach. It's very family oriented, family fun. The kids running around having a great time. It's just a great atmosphere. Now, for those of you who may not want to be around all the kids and everything, you may want to reconsider. But for those of us who love seeing families and kids having a good time, this is a fantastic place. When you're hanging out with the family, and the granddaughter pulls you out onto the dance floor, you gotta go.